What's up guys and welcome back to the Shomer Show. So today I want to cover another kit that I've put together for myself, but this kit's a little bit different. It's actually for running. All right, so since about April 15th or so, um, I started running a little bit, and the horrible thing is like my first mentality was like, I, I gotta start running, I gotta lose some weight, I gotta, you know, start living a little healthier. So it was always like, I gotta do this, I gotta feel like, I don't know, I've got to run and try to kill myself every day. Well, then I came across a Matt Graham video uh, you know, he's a survivalist. I'm sure you guys know who he is and he kind of com he kind of combined um, running and um, I, w I don't really want to say bushcraft, but I guess technically it's bushcraft um, But he's you know pretty minimalist when it comes to those things. So I thought that's freaking awesome I want to do that. Let me in on it. So Of course, I still ran on the treadmill. And I was just kind of waiting to I don't know have enough stamina to actually go do that and then I realized you know what it doesn't matter like if you have to walk a little bit then walk if you want to run the entire stretch of California or whatever you want to do at a speed of 10 miles per hour that's cool too I mean whatever you want to do just go out there to do it and enjoy it and in the meantime you're getting great exercise um, and you're changing the physiology of your body which is great too so I'm gonna show you the gear that I take with me when I go on my runs and stuff and um, this will probably start to change uh, as I get more into it and so let's uh, let's go ahead and bring the camera down and get into this little bit all right as you guys know there's a ton of different ways to carry stuff as far as hydration cell phones keys all that sort of thing but this is what I chose to do. This is what I think um, fits my needs. And I also just kind of like the way it feels. I think it, I think it feels cool. I just like the idea of it. Uh, I always wear my sunglasses when I'm running. I'll put those out of, I think if those are out of view. But I take a shemog, and I forget the dimensions of this. It's fairly big. And I wrap up the things I want to take with me. And then I wrap this around my waist and I'll show you how I do that. Actually, let me go ahead and show you how I do that. All right, so basically I prefer, this is the uh, a metal container on top. Uh, I don't always take that much water, but anyway, I'll get into that in a minute. But basically, I get this. Get it there. right kind of above your hip bones and then I go running I run and that's I mean it's seriously like it's really like it doesn't bother me at all uh, now I'll tell you after running for about four miles um, you may start of course feeling some rubbing and things like that but really truly you're gonna feel that uh, you know wherever but anyway um, so, but I find it, it, first of all, it's really cheap way to carry all of your items, but two, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of a cool way to carry your items. Sorry. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, got my sunglasses. I always wear my watch. And then when we unwrap this, oh my God, what is in here? All right, so you don't have to carry exactly what I'm carrying, obviously, and if you're a running person, you probably think I'm an idiot, but so I got a metal container here. I got this at Walgreens, I think it was like five bucks for this, and this is the little insulation cover for that container. Um, so sometimes, I, if it's a shorter run, I won't take this one and I'll just take like a little bottle of water. I generally won't take them both though. And then I keep 
Just got my headphones in there. Of course, my headphones are always on. I carry this uh, That's It bar. So these have got uh, an apple and some cherries, and that's literally it. That's compressed into a bar. It's kind of soft. Um, so I've got that to eat after a little bit of running. And then I also take these, uh, the uh, walnuts, almonds, and this cherries. These are really good. This is kind of an acquired taste. I like them now, but when I first tried them, I was like, that's disgusting, but I like them now. But I like these kind of more natural type of things um, when I'm running. I don't know, it just, it goes together to me. Uh, I Just what I prefer. Um, and then I, I keep a ferro rod and a little open L knife on me just I don't know just in case um, so you know this channel is kind of you know a prepping channel I guess prepping sur survival I guess if you want to call it that it's more of just having fun but uh, that's kind of where we're at as far as what our channel is considered that and guns so I figured I'm trying to kind of mesh that in with uh, you know my my uh, workout routine if you want to label it that but it, to be honest with you since I started doing all this stuff it doesn't feel like working out like I, I look forward to running the three or four miles that day or whatever I decide to run to whatever it doesn't really it doesn't really matter uh, just being up and moving and uh, keeping my body prepared um, is is kind of what I've realized that I need to do um, so this has been a really fun way to do that and Another thing I want to show you is how I put my cell phone in all this. Alright, so when you are wrapping this up, you just go to a corner, get, get the bottle where you want it, if that's what you want to carry. Again, this is just to carry whatever items you want to carry that you don't want to carry in your pockets if you don't have pockets. Now, sometimes, you know, I will carry, if it, I've been doing a lot of biking and stuff too, so um, when I'm biking, I always have a gun on me, but when I am running, sometimes I go without it. It just depends on if I'm like wanting to push myself a little bit, and sometimes I'll wear a little different type of shorts, and they're not the best to run in, but you gotta sacrifice that. And, and I'll run with uh, my little Taurus TCP. It's actually right here in my front pocket. I'll, I'll run with that, um, you know, have it on me somewhere sometimes. But not every time do I do that. I should, but... Uh, sometimes it's just so uncomfortable. Here's basically, you know, you already saw me do this, but you get it, you get it on. I get it pretty tight because as you run, um, I don't know that it loosens up as you run, but it just seems if you don't get it pretty tight, you know, you're, you know, when you run, your your muscles kind of change around, your breathing gets different. So, um, but anyway, so what I'll do is, and you can still put do your headphones like this too, and I have had no issues with this at all. I will just get my cell phone pop it in there where it's covered pretty good and then I'll just pop this if you can see that all the way around to cover it and it doesn't go anywhere and I'll just run alright guys so I'm really glad that I came across that video of Matt Graham going over this because it's a super handy that's where I stole this idea from it's a super handy way to carry all your stuff um, and it, it also made me go from me thinking of running as exercise every time I did it to a mindset of I'm combining hobbies now you know um, I don't feel like every time I go out running that it's got to be the struggle I really go out I enjoy it I'll run sometimes two times a day um, I ride my bike a lot I mean I'm combining my whole preparedness and things like that with my workout routine and it's I mean it's really changed the way I view any sort of working out that I've been doing so it's been really fun um, if you guys got any questions about any of this stuff, uh, just put it in the comments below. 
Um, hopefully we're going to start making a lot more videos and, um, I don't know, maybe some more bushcrafty videos. Uh, just some stuff to, you know, put out there and have fun with. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, 